Good morning, Beans. Good morning, Beans. In today's video, we're going to be taking you on a day in our life of living in this camper van. Unfortunately, the first task every morning is always the same. We've had a bit of a problem with mice infiltrating our van, so every night we set up our traps just in case they get in so we can catch them. We've caught four so far. <laughs> we both have different jobs in the van and mine is mouse disposal unit, I unfortunately. I just can't stand it, it's too gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my favourite job, so every morning I'm there. Fingers crossed, and luckily today is going to be a good day because we don't have a mouse overnight. Yay! Or we did, and he lives in the walls. <laughs> I think now we need to show these guys where we've been staying because it's one of our favourite spots. This is what is known as public lands where you are allowed to camp for free wherever you like. And it is glorious because not only can you camp for free and they have all these separate little sites that you can go have your own little space, but also they tend to be so much nicer than the campsites. They're always in beautiful locations. We stayed in one when we went to the Badlands, which was actually overlooking the Badlands National Park, which was spectacular. And now we're here right at the foot of this gorgeous mountain with just flat scenic views 360 in every direction. So we are currently in Colorado and behind me over here is Sacred Mountain and over here we have huge sand dunes, there's snow capped mountains on this side. You can just see dispersed little camper vans just popping off into the distance where everyone has got their own slice of pie. We have been here for a few days now and we are absolutely loving it. We've been having fires, cooking dinner, and just enjoying being in nature and also being very cheap. <laughs> a great thing about these spots is that you can be as sociable or as anti-social as you want. Over here, you might be able to see, there is a huge little community setting up over there. We actually stayed in that spot the other night and there was only about four campers and now there seems to be about 10. I usually start my day with breakfast, which at the moment tends to be yogurt and granola because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to make much else. Alex, on the other hand, tends to just live off coffee until about lunchtime. Mornings are definitely our favourite thing about van life. Yeah, we love those slow van life mornings. We've got nowhere really to go or to be, mm. and you can just enjoy wherever it is that you ended up parking up the night before. We found that every morning is slow, even when we need to be fast. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I don't know, know why. That, maybe that's just us. Yeah, but when I used to work like a corporate job many, many moons ago, you know, you could wake up 15, 20 minutes before you need to be out of the house or you could even be at work within like half an hour. Yeah. No way. True. I couldn't be anywhere within half an hour from van life. <laughs> it takes half an hour just to pack all the stuff away in yeah. the van and get it ready to drive. Now that we have enjoyed every second of that morning, it's time to go and get the van ready. We always put this off because it is a small <laughs> van. Most of the tidying process is just moving stuff from the front <laughs> to the back. <laughs> and then when we park up later on, it's just move it back into the front. Next up is to clean ourselves. <laughs> And when we don't have access to a shower, we tend to go for the wet wipe and deodorant option. We do actually have a shower in the van, which is located just in the same room as the toilet. That's not currently working at its best. So if you are interested to see how that all works, you can go back and watch our video that we've done recently specifically on it. And then once we're dressed, we have this very convenient laundry cupboard where we never look at it again <laughs> or at least for a week
most of the time I'm doing the driving and there are a couple reasons for that but the most important one is that I get really awful motion sickness on boats, in cars, everything. So if I so much as read a line of text on a phone or try and give directions to Alex while he's driving, I feel sick. So I tend to do the driving, he tends to do the filming, so even if he was driving, you would never see it because I'm not going to film him. <laughs> this is where we were staying one of the nights and this is one of the nights where I acquired a nice hangover. <laughs> We do have a little mental checklist before we leave. Which, which we often forget to which do. Which we <laughs> always forget to do. And it is to make sure that this pantry is closed as it likes to fly out when we're driving. When we have a bunch of errands to do, we like to come into the, sort of the nearest town that we can find just because they're all interesting and unique to us because we don't have anything like this back home. So we've just parked in some random place called, I, I think it's called Alamosa, and this is the main street. And the main streets always look similar but different. Yeah, it's cute, I like it. The plan is to go and find ourselves some coffee, Wi-Fi, and food before we can head off and start having some real fun. Although that Walmart is not our favourite store, it is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably the most reliable store that we've seen on the road in the US. You yeah. see them everywhere. And when we just want to get on with our day, we'll come here because it does have everything. And today the items that we need are wood, ice for our cool box, and Emma needs some cooling thing for her nipples that she burnt at the nudist RV site. <laughs> I think my, my boobs aren't used to being exposed to that much sunlight at that altitude, so I actually ended up getting burnt nipples. So, <laughs> so needs some cooling Vera to gel. the rescue! We feel a bit cheeky, we're doing a driving by looking for bins to be able to get rid of our waste. That is one of the annoying things that we have to do. But we found a bin here outside of an Ace Hardware, so sorry guys, but you're dealing with our trash. <laughs> now most of the boring jobs are out of the way, we get to do something fun. Yes, and today it's going to be extra fun because it's not just going for your standard hike or your standard walk, we are ticking off another national park off our list. We've got to see such a variety of national parks so far on this trip and this one's going to be no different. It looks so different from everywhere else we've been to. It is the Great Sand Dunes National Park which is home to the largest sand dune in North America. so wild to see sand dunes, let alone the biggest, in the mountains. I know. It feels wrong. It doesn't seem like the kind of place you would expect to see sand dunes, does it? Yeah, it's kind of trippy for the eyes out here. Yeah. During the spring months, this is all this long creek full of water, uh, obviously very dried up right now. A round trip to the top of the highest sand dune here is over five hours and there is absolutely zero nah. chance nope. we are doing that today. <laughs> we are not those, those healthy people. Even walking on the flat part of the sand. It's tiring. It's extremely tiring and it's very deceptive. You don't feel like you're getting anywhere. It's, yeah. it's like eating a boring soup, you know? You're like, it just keeps going. I just wish this would end now. <laughs> and uh, we've only kind of got to the foot of the dunes, you can see here. The camera doesn't even close to do it justice for scale. Yeah, you can't enormous. comprehend this. Yeah, it, I, I feel like the wide angle lens as well just makes everything look flatter and yeah. less impressive. <laughs> I am a bit sad that we didn't realize you could do sandboarding down the oh, dunes. And that does look like it would be really fun. We've never done that before. Unfortunately, you can't rent the sandboards in the national park itself, you've got to do it outside. Oh, 
that is enough sand duning for the day. <laughs> I am suitably tuckered out. Yep. And also, can I just say, walking back from the dunes is equally as impressive. It's very different. Look at that. You've got all the green and beautiful hillside going that way, and then you've just got crazy sand dunes the other way, and you're just smack bang in the middle. Bunkers. We just will not learn. Every time. Time and time again. Every time. <sighs> Before we go and look for a spot for night, we've got one last errand to run. And it's the worst of all the errands, guys. Our whole tank is full. That's too many poops. <laughs> Don't look at me. Guilty. <laughs> and I have to go and clean up her mess. How dare you. <laughs> So we take it in turns to do this job because it is the worst of all the jobs and we have to do this about once a week. We've been lucky that in the national park they actually have a dump station so we're going to take advantage as it's free and it's time to get the gloves on. Ow. <laughs> don't, don't show them the colour. And away it goes. I definitely saw the colour of that. I saw the colour of that too. <laughs> In. And now for the grey waste. This is the nice waste. I love this waste. <laughs> Lovely colour, clear as day. You can show them this colour. <laughs> Zooming in. Mm. In it goes. Bye. And never be seen again. <laughs> and then we put our hands in our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> or put some hand gel on, and then we can enjoy the rest of our day. Oh, it's done. <laughs> then the very last job of the day is just to top up our fresh water using the fresh water hose down the other end. Definitely not the hose we just used to clean out the poo pipes. Well done, sir. It's done. Now are you ready? Let's yeah. go find another awesome spot. It's a good time to be leaving. There's a weird looking storm coming over there. Let me show them. I've seen rain in the distance before, but I wonder if that's snow because it's a big white chunk. We have just realized that we forgot to buy firewood this morning. It's one of the main reasons <laughs> we went into town and it's going to cost us an hour round trip now oh, to go and get some. This is so us to like go somewhere specifically to get something and forget to get that one thing. Successful mission, got everything we wanted in a race for sunset but I think we're gonna make it in time. This is usually the point where I have to feed Emma food because she's getting hungry, <laughs> hangry, all of in them between. So uh, would you like me to feed you? Yes, please. <laughs> I knew it. It's very hard. That's teamwork. We're nearly back at the base of our lovely mountain. This will be the fifth night we've been staying around this area and every time we come back it does start to feel like home. Yeah, Such a lovely spot. You see certain landmarks and stuff and you're like, oh yeah. So, and it's nice when you start to know your way around a place without having to look at the map. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. And it looks different every time I see it. Oh, it's just so striking. This kind of thing is what makes America a world-class destination for van lifers. I just love looking for spots while boondocking. Just the excitement of like, are we gonna get a good one? Yeah. Are we gonna get a one? Yeah. And the risk that you might get a one is what makes the good ones seem so much better. Oh. Oh, hello. This seems like a nice one. This yes, it's a great it one. Now it's time for the 10 minutes it takes me to get it level. <laughs> because we don't have leveling blocks, stupidly. This is one of those things that we either get right first try or a million tries and it's something we have to get right because it really does affect our sleep. I say it affects our sleep, it affects Emma's sleep. So I look forward to the moment that that engine is switched off because I can put up with it and I don't mind putting up with it. 
but uh, as you can see, Emma is a perfectionist and uh, she won't give up no matter what. <laughs> The engine going off? Is it? It's not perfect, but it'll do. We're at a slight angle that way, so our heads will be a little bit higher than our feet, but I'll take it. She'll take it! <laughs> Were you telling them how you really don't give a sh about what <laughs> angle that you're at, but I do? Yep. <laughs> I know you too well. You just basically, in any situation, if I wasn't here, you'd just be living in squalor because you just don't care. You'd be eating nothing but like ham sandwiches. You would be showering once every two weeks <laughs> and you'd be sleeping at all sorts of wonky angles. I'd shower every day, guys. <laughs> but apart from that, I'm very, very content person. That's all I heard. Yeah, you are. That is nice. It's like the best restaurant views in the entire world. Right here. Look at that, what are those clouds even doing? <laughs> and this is the reason why we've already been here for five days. It's uh it's about hard everything. To leave. Very difficult to leave. The only thing that's making us leave is our visa. <laughs> and we end our day by filming ourselves brush our teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then we get the joy of crawling into bed. Oh man, after a long day like today, it feels real good. Yeah. But wait, the fun doesn't stop there. <laughs> we have work to do. Yeah, so what we find is if we don't do any planning the night before, nothing happens the next day. <laughs> so right now, it's time for me to come up with a plan for tomorrow, what we're gonna film, what we're gonna do, all those things and it's time for me to respond to all your lovely messages on patreon and on comments on instagram and then once we've done those things we can rest and go to bed that is us signing off for the evening good night from the beans we'll see you guys in the morning Good morning guys. I have been kicked out of the van as per usual. So Alex can use the cupboard at the foot of the bed. <laughs> so I thought I might try and steal the thunder today and end the video on my own. If you liked coming along with us on our little day in the life living in our van out here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> give us a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for future content and let us know down in the comments below, could you deal with van life? What would be the pros and cons for you? So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out.